Ashley Judd was seen on Tuesday in new images shared to her Instagram account for the first time in a month. The movie star was pictured walking without any crutches at a public event six months since she shattering her leg in four places while traveling in the Democratic Republic of Congo. The Kiss the Girls actress, 53, still needed to use a heavy brace on her leg, however. The star had on a white and blue cotton dress that fell below her knee. One leg had the brace attached as she added a white tennis shoe. The other leg was bare as she wore a summer sandal. In her Instagram caption she said it was so refreshing to take a summer evening's pause from the troubles of the world. Judd was at Fenway Park in Boston with her father Michael Simonella to see the Red Sox play baseball. I grew up with the game, my papa Judd coached Little League, shared the Double Jeopardy actress. My dad was a tremendous player and I have all his newspaper clippings. With my papa Simonella, I listened to the hashtag since retired on his transistor radio while reading the previous game's box score in the Ashland, Kentucky newspaper. Ouch, the Kiss the Girls actress, 53, still needed to use a heavy brace on her leg, however and the red carpet fixture said she was thrilled to get a warm welcome which was just awesome. Ashley then shared, here I am inside the hashtag green monster where I was stunned to see scratches on the wall where someone kept track of hashtag Ted Williams home runs. So very cool. Thank you, hashtag Red Sox for helping us make some very special family memories. Dad said he hadn't had so much fun since he was 14. Then she left fans guessing as she dropped, and for my partner, who is Swiss, Kel introduction exclamation mark Kel introduction means, what an introduction in French. Judd has been spending time in Switzerland this summer. She was previously married to Scotsman Dario Franchitti for 12 years from 2001 to 2013. The actress shattered her leg after tripping over a tree in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, while going to see the endangered bonobos monkeys, and got treatment at Sunning Hill Hospital in Johannesburg, South Africa, after a grueling 55-hour journey. The actress revealed on February 12 that she had been rushed to the ICU in a hospital in South Africa after she suffered a fall which left her with a shattered leg in four places as well as nerve damage while in the Congo. Ashley shared images of her lengthy ordeal, which saw her travel across the continent in stages before reaching her final destination in South Africa. In a lengthy caption on Instagram, she wrote, Friends. Without my Congolese brothers and sisters, my internal bleeding would have likely killed me, and I would have lost my leg. I wake up weeping in gratitude, deeply moved by each person who contributed something life-giving and spirit-salving during my grueling 55-hour odyssey. Sick Ashley went on to thank each of the people involved in getting her the help she needed, including a man she named Papa Jean, who manipulated and adjusted her broken bones so that she could be transported safely. She said, Papa Jean, it took five hours, but eventually he found me, wretched and wild on the ground, and calmly assessed my broken leg. He told me what he had to do. I bit a stick. I held onto Maud. And Papa Jean, with certainty began to manipulate and adjust my broken bones back into something like a position I could be transported in, while I screamed and writhed. How he did that so methodically while I was like an animal is beyond me. He saved me. And he had to do this twice. The six men who carefully moved me into the hammock with as little jostling as possible, who then walked for three hours over rough terrain carrying me out. 
heroes. Sick the double Jeopardy star sustained her injuries when she was out on an excursion and had been using a faulty headlamp, which made it difficult for her to see, and as a result she tripped over a fallen tree. When she first detailed her 55-hour ordeal, Ashley described it as incredibly harrowing, and said it began with five hours of lying on the forest floor with one of her colleagues until she was able to be evacuated. She added, he had, his leg under my badly misshapen leg, and I was, biting my stick. Howling like a wild animal. Five hours after her accident someone arrived to reset her bones, before she was carried through the rainforest to a motorcycle, where she was driven for six hours to the city of Jolu. After spending the night in the city, she was then flown to the capital of Kinshasa to stay for 24 hours and then, eventually, down to South Africa to be treated in an ICU in that country. On August 1 Ashley was seen on a hike in the Swiss National Park for over an hour. Dear friends, it is with reverence and quiet I offer this update, she wrote in a lengthy Instagram post. Today, five months and three weeks after the accident in the Congolese rainforest, I walked again, and in what fashion? Speaking of being back in nature, Judd detailed feeling at ease and at home in my spirit. My leg and foot, worked beautifully. I walked uphill on uneven surfaces for an hour confidently and came down carefully and easily, she raved. She added, I rested in a meadow on God's feet and earth for hours. The next day, I walked again on a high alpine hashtag Dicino, working hard and feeling how much I stamina I have to rebuild, 